the Dragon's Fist has made its comeback to the item shop um, as if like three days ago, I'm pretty sure, or last week. I'm not 100% sure, but I just know that it came back. Um, it's been out for almost two years, and despite of the time that it's been out, it's actually been still a really good melee, in my opinion. Um, hardware, that is, you know? So, yeah. Um, I went for a double crit, uh, crit damage and a crit rating. It's locked on fire, but it ain't that bad. Um, I kept it on damage because there's nothing much you could actually do in that spot apart of movement speed, but like, I don't think you're gonna need that. Um, and the fifth perk is locked, but it does help us due to the, due to this weapon actually um, knocking back enemies. So yeah, that helps a lot as well. Um, the sixth perk lands five hit in a row caused a small explosion uh, for 70% more damage, you know? And this helps actually for smashers, for bigger husks to actually take more hits. So, yeah. Um, not that much, pretty much um, the description just says a, a slow swinging hammer does knockback. Same as the heavy attack, just does more knockback. And just, you know, fire damage. And it's mostly for nature enemies, but yeah. Um, damage is pretty good um it'll be much better when we're in the game um create a chance to have it as a 56.5 percent just because we have guardian bull but and this is why i actually highly recommend this whenever you're going to be using a hardware um specific set uh the hero loadout so yeah the attack speed is almost one second but i'm pretty sure with totally rocking out movement speed and attack speed do go up a bit and yeah impact is pretty good as well um, nothing much to say actually about that a part of this is actually going to be our loadout uh, You could change um, Beetle Jazz if you want to or any of them to this girl right here if you'd like Pop a penny or a penny or whatever, whatever because you could um, the heavy attack does do a lot of damage You constantly be doing it because it's pretty fast, but I mostly go with break the wild cat um, You know subway first assassination for melee damage you know, like I said hardware more crit rating and this is going to actually help us for our weapon energy if we want a heavy attack. Um, so other than that, um, let me actually go into the mission to where we could actually try this out. So yeah, now that we're actually in the mission, I could actually talk a bit more about this weapon. So yeah, like I said in the intro, this weapon has been out for, I believe, more than two years or around two years. The Dragon Set is one of the very old, the oldest sets that have been out in the game. And... It's pretty good actually in my opinion well I mean you could still take these actually no now that I'm actually thinking about it I, mean, I just started well so yeah the heavy attack does a good amount of damage and it's really fast to see you go like oh I can't do it anymore but like yeah um, with high crit chance obviously we're gonna be getting a bit more a bit better numbers in this and yeah and now that we actually have um totally rocking out with us we're gonna be constantly getting crits that's if we would kill them yeah if you get a good crit you would get um, some of that for one shot oh. yeah the only downside about this weapon is that little speed that it has the the, the one two yeah technically it's just yeah like I said one second about one second point two second I mean yeah like point two less than to make it one second but yeah this weapon is mostly good when totally rocking out is activated because of the attack speed that's going to gain and well mostly because we're going to be constantly getting crit with it but it is pretty pretty hard actually now that i think about it this is for i would say this weapon is more like a for bigger types of husks you know like um like mist monsters you could say blasters flingers and even smashers just because um the heavy attack they don't move that much and plus the five consecutive hits you're you're able to get all of those five hits in that in those type of husks unlike these other husks that um you know i would say die like a two three swings or even one so yeah let me actually try this out um i think i saw um yeah, wait, here you are, storm chest. Let me actually try this in the storm chest and, okay. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Let me actually eat a wave for here. Oh. 
Huh. Well, yeah, like I said, it is the problem is the slow swinging. If I, if there was a perk for um, faster swinging, I would 100% get it. Um, but sadly, there isn't. There's movement speed. And yeah, don't confuse it with movement speed. I thought it was move attack, movement attack, and yeah, it was just movement speed and so. Yeah, that didn't help at all. <laughs> Let's see. Like, oh, let me actually, oh, might I, am I able to finish? Oh, I actually finished it. I did not expect that. Oh, and uh, I, I was gonna be bad for takers actually, since, ah. Uh, Mostly the hero that we have is is the only reason we're actually getting damage, you know. Because he, the knockback and snare and all that that he does does do a lot of damage. That's the only thing that actually helps us in this case is the hero load that we're using. So yeah. Okay, yeah. So that was a a cut that I didn't think it was gonna happen. But wait. Oh wow. Let me actually go this here and let's see how. How much damage you can do on a smasher? Hmm. Okay, that's actually not that bad. <laughs> well, I mean, it was elemental, you know, specific. But still, that was really good. That was that was good. <laughs> Damn. Um, I'd say maybe because of that of five hits that makes an explosion helped. But also this this hero loadout that I have really does help as well so yeah what are my total conclusions on this weapon well initially I thought it was a really good weapon that sticks up and right now I still kind of think that but um, kind of less than I thought like initially because it's a good weapon I'm not gonna lie because look as you can see swing after swing you're like able to get like on these normal husks, just one hit and they die. But honestly, you're not, um, and it's pretty high, a high chance to get a crit. And with the snare attack ability that this ninja has, it helps a lot. But yeah, the only problem that I have with it is the, the swing that it takes so much to time to actually swing, uh, once. That's the main problem. But still, uh, yeah, you should get it, honestly. Now, I wouldn't say you should 100% um, guard roll a 138, but it's still a good weapon to have there just in case they do buff the dragon weapon because they have been out for a while now and there is a chance for them to actually get buff. So, yeah. Um, where can I use this weapon? I would say only when when you're against um, buff buffer, you know, Husks, like mist monsters, smashers, blasters, any of them. Um, you should be able to easily use them. I mean, except for um, except for those the ghost things. I told it's been so long since I played um, say the world that I literally forgot what the what those husks name were. But like yeah, other than that, um, that's all t I actually have to talk about this weapon. Pretty good weapon. I'd say seven out of ten, actually. Not that bad for uh, for a weapon that's been out for a couple of times. I mean, a couple of years now. So yeah, that's all I have to say. And yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching.